Hi, my name is Emma Donahue with the National Endowment for Financial Education. We are in Denton, Texas, talking to students, advocates, and educators about the importance of financial literacy in schools. Hi, my name is Pamela Milner, and I am interim assistant dean with the Ryan College of Business here at UNT, the University of North Texas. And I do quite a few things, but mainly what I do is to help student affairs and to help students and their enrollment issues. Primarily, the students that I serve, I find that financial literacy is a big issue for them, if you will, in that they are not fully aware of how they should budget their money or how they should when they get refunds for financial aid, how they should adjust that money and help it to stretch throughout the semester. So there are a lot of different things that I feel that they really could learn and benefit from using the resources on campus. That's really a good question. I am not sure if students come fully aware of financial literacy or not. I know that in some high schools they do offer it, but I think primarily that's something that they might get by osmosis, if you will. So I think that students really need to come to the university and maybe have a course or talk with somebody in the Student Money Management Center to learn about budgeting, to learn about what is financial aid, to learn about even the FAFSA, filling out the FAFSA, and, and just how should I manage my money. I would definitely support students having a course in financial literacy. Even in my day, I had a personal finance course in high school and it was very beneficial. It was just being able to see that, yes, I could budget my money or I need to save a certain amount for me, I need to pay a certain amount on bills, and I need to do certain things with the money to just be able to function. I do think it is good to have a course either in high school or at the university. We do have one in the core that is a personal finance. I think that would be a great course for all students to take to learn how to manage their money during college, but also afterward. I feel I work with quite a few of our students and a lot of them do come with problems with paying their their bill or they haven't paid their bill and now they've been dropped from their courses. So I don't have a specific example for one student, but probably quite a few. We have a fund in our Ryan College of Business and that is a one-time fund. So for students who haven't quite been able to budget or quite been able to figure it out in one semester, having the Student Money Management Center or other places to help them to think about how can I get a loan or how can I work through this hurdle and still be enrolled at UNT is a great example resource to have here on campus. I think that financial literacy is something that is very key to students and to people in general to help you to learn how to navigate life, to learn how to budget. When I came to UNT, this was my first time having a job that only paid you once a month. And that was a big, big deal and a big, big stretch. Personal story there, I ended the month $12 left in my bank account. I think I had four days left in the month. Then I called my father and my father was like, well, are, you, are your bills paid? Do you have food in your freezer or in your refrigerator? Then you're good. So even that, just learning how to budget, whether I'm getting paid twice a month, whether you're getting paid once a month, just learning how to manage that money and to think about how much should I save? How much should I spend just on me for great things? And then how much do I need to set aside for bills? So I think just learning how to budget your money and learning when you should save, how much you should save, how much you should afford for bills, and then how much you should really set aside to have fun because life is about having fun as well. So you need to be well-rounded and have all of those things and learn how to use your money wisely.